this past year question is kind of like statistics. It's very interesting. Huh? So MJ15, P42 on the right side over here. Let us take a look. So they give you in a sample gas at room temperature, five atoms have the following speed. Now this one is a bit weird already. Like why five at how does the, how do they even know exactly what speeds those five atoms have? That's nonsense. But anyway, this is a very weird question. It's the only one of its kind in the past year records. So anyway, okay, the, it knows the speed of this five, one, two, three, four, five. For this five, calculate to three SF the mean speed. So you kind of have to do some statistics. Uh. So mean speed, usually you say mean, basically means average. Lah. But in physics, we want to do a bit more fancy notation. So you do mean speed as this thing, the sharp brackets. So what to do, you write out the whole thing. Lah. Okay, so write it out. There's all the speeds and uh, there are five of them. So I want to find the average. So divide by five. So I should get a mean speed of about 1440. Now I need to remember that they want me to write 3 SF or So in the final answer, I did make sure that I whatever I get reported in standard form or otherwise should be 3 SF. So this is the very first mark. Actually, do you need to show working? Ah? No, uh, just one mark. Final answer, okay. Liao, la. So this is the mean speed. The mean square speed is next. So what is mean square speed? Which means <laughs> mean of the square. Of speed. Wow. So I have to write out again. Uh. Okay, so this one, how many marks uh? I need to write working? Oh, yo, two marks. Uh. So probably be the final answer and some kind of working or evidence to show that I know how to calculate this. So I will just write out the whole thing again. There, that's everything. Uh Oh, oh but I forgot the power, right? It's all times 10 to the power of 3. So I need to times 10 to the power of 3, but I need to remember that this is also squared. I just factor it out because I don't want to keep writing times 10 to the power 3. It's just very long. Divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this should be 5 of them. So the mean square speed should be, if I round it up to 3 SF, should be 2.09 times 10 to the 6. Now if you check the mark scheme, there indeed is a final answer mark. But there's also a working mark to show some kind of evidence that you know how to square each term, add them together, and then only divide by 5. Okay, it's like a throwback to maths. Those of you who take maths, you're like, this looks familiar. Anyway, write the answer here. I'm lazy to write that. What's the last one? Root mean square speed. Oh, this question really tests. Do you know the difference between mean speed, mean square speed, and root mean square speed? So notice mean square speed, uh, the units. Oh, man. The units is not your usual meter per second already. This unit is meter square per second square. Whereas speed is just meter per second. So, if you square root this thing, how would that look like? So, root mean square literally goes like this. Root mean square speed. So, what you need to do is just square root your mean square. So, I just take that out. 2.09 times 10 to the negative 6. Oh, that's 6. Ah. Oh, my, my. This is 6. My writing is such beauty. So this will be 6 and here will also be 6. There we go. So you calculate that. You should get about 1.453 SF times 10 to the 3 meters per second. Because you square root this unit, you get you should get meters per second. Lah. Okay? So that is on this side. I think that is all. This one is 1 mark only. So A1 only here. Lah. So this is a good starter to get you... Get your brains thinking about what it means, root means square speed. So just remember, these atoms are, are moving in a 3D space in all directions. So when we're trying to find the average speed of all the particles, this is our steps. Lah, okay? Root means square. The square and the root, all those kind of accounts for the three-dimension nature of where they are moving. And... You know, it's a very pretty genius way to figure out how fast, on average, gas particles are moving. So that is all for this example question. A good starter for this topic. I will see you in the next one.